Hello, welcome to another video and one I'm kind of nervous about making, but we will just have to see how this goes. But today I want to talk about my goals for the new year, for 2023. Happy new year, folks. The reason I say I'm nervous about filming this is because I know that my 2022 did not go to plan at all. The goals that I think I set, I don't think I hit. Um, normally around this time of year, I would do a reflections video and see like what my goals were and how well I did. I'm not doing that this year because I am so ready to say goodbye to 2022. <laughs> um, I know things didn't go to plan. I know I didn't hit my goals, um, whatever they may have been. So I'm not going to do that. But that does mean I'm a little bit nervous about setting goals for the new year because am I going to do better? Am I going to hit them this time? Fingers crossed, I guess. It's just a little bit nerve wracking. I'm really hoping that 2023 is a better year than 2022 was, but I don't want to dwell too much on that. It was a year of all sorts of terrible things happening. <laughs> so we, uh, we won't talk about that one too much. We'll just move on to 2023 and focus on my bookish and channel content goals um, and what I want to do in 2023. I do have some, some of them written down in my little book. Let's just get started and go through what they are. Number one is, for me, get back to tracking. Now, I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet. Um, at the point of filming this, I still have a couple of days left of 2022, so I'm hoping to spend some time in the next few days looking at some options for how I'm going to track, whether I just track on my own spreadsheet and make something very simple for me, whether I try and adapt a Corpile spreadsheet, or whether I look at something like um, Ali from Hardback Hoarder spreadsheet or something. I need to look at what the best option for me is, but I do want to get back to tracking my books. I didn't do it in 2022. It was one of those like homeworky tasks that I decided to cut out for stress-related reasons. Um, but I'm now at the end of the year, everyone's doing their end of year stats and seeing how many books and pages and whatnot they read. And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. I don't know because I didn't track. Um, I don't regret it, but I do definitely want to do it in 2023. So I do need to decide what option is going to be best for me for tracking. The likelihood is that I will take a simplified version of Corpile. That's what I've done in the past. It's probably what I will continue with. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spend some time to look at what my spreadsheet tracking options are so I can get back to tracking how many books I read, what I actually rated them, maybe page count as well, who knows. Um, I don't want to go too hard with it though because I know I'll just get overwhelmed and forget about it. But I am also going to be back on Goodreads, so failing everything else, at least I'll have Goodreads to keep me on track somehow because again, that's something that I dropped in 2022, um, but I do want to or I am back on there now, um, and I want to try and keep up with that in 2023. So I've got somewhere to track what my reading is. That's number one. <laughs> number two, very similarly mentioning Goodreads, is going to be setting my Goodreads goal for the year, how many books I want to read in the year. And I really put some thought into this because I'm not sure what sort of year 2023 is going to be for me, whether it's going to be a busy one or a less busy one. 2022 wasn't one that I necessarily anticipated being a busy one, but then it ended up being a busy one, so mm, who knows what 2023 is going to be like. But I'm hoping um, to set my Goodreads goal, my book total aim at 100 books again. Um, I didn't hit that in 2022. I know for a fact I didn't. So I need to step it up a little bit for 2023, I think. We're going to aim for 100. Um, I've only ever set my goal a hundred once before and I did hit it. It was great. It was fine. But yeah, I think I need to, need to aim for that hundred again. So fingers crossed I can hit that in 2023. Thinking about what I want to read to hit that goal though, I have a few things that I would like to focus on more so in the new year and one of those priorities needs to be having a better focus on series, whether that be binge reading series back to back or just having a little bit more of a like conscious mindset about not leaving it seven months between sequels maybe like try and 
do one a month until I finished a series, or one a week, or something. Whether that means reading things in between or not, I don't want to be too strict on that, but I definitely want to have a more conscious focus on working my way through series. I do feel like towards the end of 2022, I've had that a little bit more. Like, I finished the Poppy War series, I finished the Greenbone Saga, um, I finished the Ruin of Kings series. I do feel like I have started adapting to that mindset already. It's just going to be a case of consciously carrying on with that, getting to series and getting through series, rather than having enormous gaps between them and then forgetting everything, which is the problem I'm now having with The Faithful and the Fallen. I really want to read Valor, but it's been so long since I read book one. And now I'm all nervous about it. I want to try and avoid that. So a more conscious focus on series reading and actually getting through them. <laughs> Another one that I want to focus a little bit more on and try and have a bit more of a conscious effort to fulfil is to read more self-pubbed or indie books. Um, I definitely have acquired a few, there's a few on my shelf that I want to get to. Um, I would really like 2023 to be the year that I actually do read some of those. I don't want to put like a quantifier on this, I don't want to say like one a month or read 10 self-pub book books or something, I don't want to put a number on it, um, but I do just want to make sure I read some. So, you know, one, two, 12, 15, I don't know, but some would be nice. So I'm gonna keep that goal kind of vague, but definitely get to some indie and self-pubbed fantasy. I get so many recommendations from Cassidy these days, so it shouldn't be too hard. And I, there are definitely some on my shelves that I know I wanna get to, so fingers crossed, I can do that. In a similar sort of route, um, I really want to focus more so on my adult fantasy. I think in the massive unhaul that I've just done, it became very clear that I'm kind of shifting away from YA anyway, and that shift has definitely been happening for a while, and I'm not saying I'm not going to read any YA. I do think that my reading naturally has been leaning more towards adult for a little while now. But again, it's just about having more of that conscious effort to pick up some of the chunky adult fantasies on my shelves that I've been excited to read and really wanting to read. So just having that in the forefront of my mind, like adult fantasies is what I end up loving, so it's what I need to reach for more consciously. And although I have just tried to to quantify like what I want to be reading. I also want to give myself a lot more space for mood reading. My monthly TBRs are not going to be a thing this year. If at some point in the year I feel like doing one, maybe I will, I don't know, but it's not a plan. I don't plan on doing monthly TBRs. Monthly TBR pursuit is no more. Um, you will see TBR pursuit in a different sort of fashion but monthly TBR pursuit is no more. Monthly TBRs, I just, they haven't been working for me for the last 12 months, so I think it's time for me to take a step away from doing those. So more mood reading, reading what I'm in the mood for at that point in time, picking up what I fancy when I fancy. I think that is how I'm going to achieve the 100 books thing. I just need to pick up what I want when I want, really. I've been enjoying doing the mood reading that I have done in 2022, and I definitely want to carry that on. So, more mood reading. Moving away from the reading goals, more so into the this goals. Uh, 2022 definitely saw me take a step away from my channel for a little bit. Um, the passion wasn't there. There was a lot going on in my life in general that the... Um, passion I had for being on camera, um, creating things and stuff. It just wasn't there. It wasn't there. I didn't have the ideas. I didn't have the drive for it. I don't think I was reading enough for it. And it definitely, yeah, had a little bit of a, whoo. But fingers crossed, touch wood, 2023 should see a little bit more stability in my life. So I'm hoping that that means that I can get back to my channel, put some passion back into my videos, fall back in love with doing it, because 
I haven't been. And I know I'm not alone in this, and I've seen other creators saying very similar things, like the passion and the love for it just hasn't been there. Um, but I don't want to give up. I, I won't lie to you, in 2022 there were many a moment where I completely contemplated just ditching the whole thing, deleting my channel and doing something entirely different, I don't know. Um, the thought process is there. The thought process is still there fairly often, um, but I really would like to overcome that barrier in 2023 and fall back in love with doing this um, and doing it with the love that I used to. And on that note, I would like to get back into vlogging because I haven't been vlogging. I've been terrible at vlogging, but I think in order for me to get back into vlogging, I need to get back into more consistent reading. So I think the getting back into vlogging will line up with some of those earlier goals that I said anyway, like having a passion for doing the content creating again, but also reading more and being a bit more on the ball with that should result in getting back into vlogging. Um, whether those be weekly vlogs, monthly vlogs, themed vlogs, game related vlogs, series vlogs, I don't know. They will be what they will be, but I would like to get back to them. And then an another goal that isn't, isn't related but kind of is related is kind of a book buying ban, but not ban. Um, I know that banning myself just won't work, so I need to put something in place because after that massive unhaul I've just done, I need to limit what's coming back into here and being a little bit more brutal and selective about what's going and staying on the shelves. So the plan is three to one. In order for me to buy one book, I need to read three. I can keep all three of those, absolutely, um, but to buy one I need to read three. So I'm thinking I might get myself some like counters or something, maybe do it like on my pin board or maybe just on a spreadsheet tracker, maybe that would be easier, um, but a three to one situation. So I read three books, I can buy one. Read six books, I can buy two, and so on. Um, exceptions to that, there will be exceptions, of course there will be, if it's like a sequel that I need to read immediately and actually do read immediately, then I'll give myself some leeway with that. Gifts, subscription boxes, things like that, I won't count so much, but maybe I need to uh, cancel a subscription box or two. Um, or start skipping with that, maybe, because the unhaul also saw me get rid of a lot of subscription box books. Anyway, that's kind of a limit that I would like to inflict on myself. And then finally, the last goal that I put in my little book is keep it fun, enjoy yourself with less pressure. Um, and I think this is the big overall thing for me that I really need to focus on is enjoying myself and having fun, not making it feel like work and effort and homework and stress. That's definitely what everything started to feel like last year and maybe even the year before, um, which is why I stopped with the tracking and stopped with the vlogging and almost stopped with the reading. Um, and I don't want to lose a passion for making it feel like pressure. Less pressure, more passion, have fun enjoy it um, and do it for me because I want to, not because I feel like I have to. They are my goals for 2023. Fingers crossed I can hit them. Fingers crossed it's better than 2022 was. There we go. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below, let me know what your goals are for 2023. Um, I would definitely be interested to know what you want to prioritise doing and stuff in the new year. Do let me know. But otherwise, Happy New Year, and I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye.